and I sit here and I'm like, wow, how are they, how are they going to follow up that match? Let's have just right. another banger tag team match for the World Tag Team Champions. The only problem was the ending. Lucha Brothers. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't a very good ending. No. Uh, Lucha Brothers defending the AEW World Tag Team Champions against FTR. I kind of wish it was double title, but it is what it is. Right. It was just awesome. FTR cannot have a bad tag team match. Right. Nor no, they the can't. Lucha no. It's They're, impossible. And they had a great storyline into this match as well. Right. They did. So, lots of really good stuff. And every single match on this card, they gave them plenty of... Oh, time. I know. They gave them a they gave them a lot of time. For 10 matches on a card, they gave each match right. at least 15 minutes. I don't think there was a match that was below like 10 minutes. I don't think so either. So, just wonderfully paced show and just another banger, but uh so this is kind of why they had brought out the little oh god, what were they called? They were called like the Super Toads. I can't remember what that was in Spanish nor do I care. They put them on. Yeah. For one of the FTR members, and the Lucha Brothers pinned one of them with the assisted, uh, with with the assisted cradle pile driver that they are using to win. They take off the mask, right? And it was one of the members of FTR, right? Uh, basically, where I do not like, it was like, what? It didn't make any sense. Right. It was just a really shitty ending to overall just a great match. Yep. All right, Pina Gallery. I don't know how the fuck we're going to do this, but we're going to somehow figure this out. Let's make this shit majestic again. With this one, I would not have changed a fucking goddamn thing. Nope, again, first successful example of long-term storytelling. This is exactly what we needed. I probably would have wished that Kenny Omega wasn't as injured as he is, but hey. His, his, his work, he took a little too much yep. for his workload. He has no one to blame but himself for it. Hopefully, he gets the healing, and hopefully, we maybe we can see a rematch. Yep. We most likely will. Yep. So, let's talk about inner... Now, I love the build-up to The build-up to this has been uh, great. The match itself, eh, it went about as I expected. I, I think the right person won. Or yeah. I think the right person ate the pin. Yeah. But it went about how I expected it to go. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy match. I didn't have the highest expectations for I probably, it. I probably would have switched the false count anywhere in this match within the card, and it probably would have been a little more impactful yeah. for me personally. I like I do, I do. like the touches they did with the Minnesota-based inventions that they... Yes, so that was another thing that we didn't even talk about was... They had a bunch of different Minnesota-based inventions right, that like were weapons. Right, like a toaster. Like, the toaster was invented in Minneapolis. Hockey stick. Hockey's a big part of Minnesota culture. Uh, you got, let's see, what else? Um, oil barrels, big part of Minnesota culture. You got, you know, they just did those little tiny things that just made it's, it's sense. Something, it's something that AEW is really good at. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of great attention to detail. Also... I, I know that Dan Lambert is not a wrestler. He did not take a lot of bumps, but man, you can tell that this guy has a lot of great passion for this business. Oh, yeah. And he's such a great talker, and I loved it that he was in this match. Mm -hmm. He just kind of looked ridiculous looking yeah. like a blueberry. But that's fine. I wouldn't have booked this any different. I probably would have started this program earlier yeah. um, to really hit home about it, but yep. I feel like they did this one right. Yeah. Maybe have this one in ODQ or something like that, and maybe not a pinfall. I probably would have done like Eddie Kingston couldn't continue or right, something. Right, or something like to, that. Something to, to make him look strong. Right, well, he still looked strong in defeat, but I feel like if he was like technical knocked out, like he passed out or um, he couldn't fight anymore, right. that probably would have been a lot better than just your standard pinfall. Yeah. But that's really so about it. So replace the finish, replace the Miro, once, Danielson once, finish with this and right. switch them around. Right. Once again, it's one of those things where the marring of full gear this year was weird, weird finishes. Mm -hmm. Um, <sighs> Ty Conti, she needs a little more work. This, this should have been a clean, no ambiguous pinfall. Yes, it should have or, been. Or a submission or a pass out. If you did a pass out here, I would have been okay with it too. Yeah. Um, but this whole kick out of the last second, that's Hulk Hogan shit. What are you doing oh, yeah. here? That This is kind of, that's amateur hour wrestling. Right. Like, what are you doing? And also, don't have Britt Baker kick out of the three big finishes that Ty Conti uses. Right. It almost makes Ty Conti look weak. Yeah, look so, like an amateur. Right. 
It's like, why is she here? Why was she going for the title? Okay, yeah, she won a bunch of matches. And right. she hit big three big finishes, and she couldn't get the right. fucking job done. She couldn't done. get the job done. Right. That's what I think. I, I didn't think that Britt Baker looked strong. She doesn't have to look any stronger. She's right. Britt Baker. Like, come on. Uh, <sighs> just this match needed to just not exist. It was yeah. it was really weird. It was kind of put. To, I felt like it was put together at the last minute. I understand the rivalry. It with, should it should not have been here. I'm sorry. I, it just it shouldn't, shouldn't have, have been, been here. No, it made no sense. Yeah, it, it started really quick, and it felt like there was no reason for it. Um, <sighs> Cody Rose just needs to be a heel and just get on with it. Mm-hmm. Jesus. And I feel like the wrong, the wrong people won. Yeah. That's honestly. Legitimately, this just didn't make any sense to me. I did not like it whatsoever. Right. Once again, we would have switched the two, but booking-wise, I probably wouldn't have done anything different because no. um, people love this match. Oh, yeah. So um, I liked it. I thought it was the right stipulation for the right time. Yeah. Just the policeman on the card was yeah. not the right and I felt like storyline was a little rushed too well this one uh, yeah, you know maybe maybe not as rushed but it's still you know it, it felt incomplete without Kenny Omega being there I can see that I can totally it, it see that it felt a little incomplete right well because he was involved with he was them involved, anyway right. so there was no reason for this right um, Miro and Danielson. Again, I'm, I'm, there should have been a clean pinfall just so we knew who, you know, just so we had the a definitive, definitive win. Winner. I don't like this because now we're most likely going to see a triple threat um, with Miro. And it's like, okay, I understand that they had to put somebody here because Moxley is um, in rehab. Right. I understand that this was a last minute decision. And I think same, that's, and I think that kind of martyred a little bit too. Right. Miro cannot lose right now. He's too strong. Right. And if they were going to do this, have Miro win. Right. So. Yeah. There we go. Um, once again, it's just the finish. The booking was done just right yeah. for this entire and, thing. And I like how it's now involving Triple A as well. And, and it, it, there's a lot of great, a lot of great crossover. Yeah. But the finish, uh, they, they did not put those masks on very well. It was very poorly done. Yeah, it was poorly done. The mask didn't make sense because it was one of the participants in the match. Right. And it's like, okay, if this if, is this Lucha rules? Is it not? Because we were seeing right. a lot of people pin other people. And I'm like, okay, who's the legal person? Right. And all of a sudden, oh, the legalization there is right. Okay, well, you, you, you got to say yes or no to that thing. Like, right. it doesn't make sense to me. So, other than the ending, I probably wouldn't have done anything different. No. I like that FTR beat them for the Triple A World Tag Team Champions, and I'm excited for the Triple A match. Right. Um, in December, I wouldn't have done anything different. No, this match was done. Not well. a damn thing different. It was way too good it to was. do anything different. Maybe a different placement on the card, but I did not expect them. I mean. I, I hate saying this, but I did not expect them to do that well. That was <laughs> that was magic. Yes, two of the four pillows of AEW. Did somebody say that? Yeah, Jr. said that. He said two oh. of the four pillows <laughs> instead of pillars, pillows. Yeah, it's uh, it's Egyptian down. <laughs> and then this one, it was a buy-in. It was a tag team match to fill it. There was not really much I would have done different. All right, so Pina Gallery. What are we doing next? Well, let's see. Next week, we got yes. Survivor Series, I believe. No, next week is Turning Point. No, I think both of them are. Yeah, it's Turning Point and Survivor Series. Oh, shit. It's going to be a really busy weekend. <laughs> All right, so we have a very... It's it's probably not going to be a wrestling lesson and a and, heckling. Nope. But because we got two separate brands going, but... And also, we're going to one of them live, so that's going to eat up a lot of our time for right. the day. So um, we'll probably not do that, but we'll be covering both of those. Uh, if you did enjoy this, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, wherever you're listening to this on, we're on all major platforms, YouTube, iTunes, everything, become a patron. Right. We might start watching some of these series and start releasing like a little review series or a watch along or something like that. So if you're interested, um, go to the Patreon and check it out. But as always, be majestic.